Hello, everybody. Easy on the eyes here. Over a decade ago, Toby Fox released Undertale's first chapter as a demo for the world to play. Today, I'm happy to announce I brought one of my favorite mods for the game to the Nintendo Switch release of the game. Undertale Remastered mod is a mod for the PC release that brings fully colored sprite work to the indie cult classic RPG. Replacing battle sprites, dialogue sprites, and other 2D assets with high-res pixel art, this mod has been a must-have for me for several years, and it is now available to play on handhelds. And yes, it's also emulator compatible with Skyline, Strato, Yuzu, and Ryujinx. In this video, I will show you the easiest method to install this mod on your Switch, and an alternate method as well. This video will be broken down into timestamp sections, be sure to read the description for the video chapters. Prerequisites for installing this mod include a hacked Nintendo Switch running custom firmware. This guide will be using Atmosphere 16.0, a PC for running required programs. I will be using Windows in this guide. A legitimate copy of Undertale for the Nintendo Switch installed to your hacked Switch. This will be used to dump required game files. NX Dump Tools for the Nintendo Switch, this is the homebrew we will use to dump our game files, and Delta Patcher for Windows, this is the tool we will use to patch our game. Links for all relevant tools will be listed in the description. Huge thanks to the original modder, King Michael, for not only creating the mod, but providing permission to release the assets from it, as well as advice while I was attempting to do it. Be sure to check out the original mod page in the description and share it some love. Also credit and thanks to the creator of Undertale Mod Tools. It would not be possible if it weren't for these tools, linked in the description. I'll be showing how I use these tools to bring the mod to the Switch, and how you can do similar ports in a later video. The assets used in making this are also available in the description. Without any further delays, let's get into modding Undertale on the Switch. Dumping game ROMFS and copying off the Switch. The first step in modding your Nintendo Switch copy will be to get your game in a modifiable state. Once your vanilla game is installed, we are going to utilize NX Dump Tools to dump your game ROMFS. To get NX Dump Tools, see the GitHub link below. Start your homebrew menu by holding right shoulder as you launch a title from the home screen. From here, navigate to your NX Dump Tools icon from the menu. After this, Select Dump Installed SD EMMC Content and scroll down to Undertale. For this recommended Delta Patcher method, we will select ROM FS options. I recommend dumping the contents to your CFW. Scroll down to the toggle for Save Data to CFW, Directory, Layered FS, and set this to Yes. Scroll back up to the ROM FS section Data Dump and press A. Then allow the dump process to finish. We can now close NX Dump Tools for this section. Our next step will be to copy our ROMFS dump from our Switch to our PC. Launch the Homebrew menu once again and open up File Explorer, my recommended one being USB File Transfer. Plug your Switch into the PC using a USB cord capable of data transfer. Alternatively, if you do not have one, you can read the Switch's microSD directly from your computer if you have a micro SD card slot or adapter. We are now going to want to navigate through our Switch's storage with a file explorer. Go to Nintendo Switch slash SD slash Atmosphere slash Contents slash Undertale Title ID, which ends in 66000 slash ROMFS. Here you will see a dump of all of the game's ROMFS files. Those of you who are familiar with Undertale on PC may notice a similarity between the contents of this folder on the Switch and the PC release. We are going to want to copy the file named game.win from this folder off of our Switch and onto our PC, and keep it in a handy place. At this point, we could safely eject and close this tool, but I recommend leaving it open as we patch our game, because the process is short. 
GameWin is a file that contains a majority of Undertale's assets and code used by the game, such as sprites and textures affected by the remastered mod, which is why we are patching this file. To stay safe and not redistribute copyrighted materials, I will not provide a pre-modified copy of the game one. Instead, I will only provide a patch. Patching with Delta Patcher Now that we have our game win copied to our PC, we can move on to patching this file. To do this, we will be utilizing a tool known as Delta Patcher, which is used to apply the differences between a modified game back onto its original. This tool is a staple in many communities, as the patches themselves have no copyrighted material and are legally safe to redistribute. To get Delta Patcher, go to the link in the description and select Download File. You are then going to want to download the Undertale Remastered Mod Switch V1 X Delta file that I created and linked in the description of this video. Run deltapatcher.exe, and on the line that says Original File, Select the game when you copied from your Switch. On the line that says X Delta Patch, select the Undertale Remastered Mod Switch V1 X Delta file. It should be worth noting this will be applied directly to the game when you selected and will not automatically make a copy or backup. So if for some reason you still want a vanilla copy of this file, make a backup of it before running this patch. If you do accidentally copy over this one, do not panic. You can repeat the steps from earlier in this video to dump your ROM FS again. Once you have selected both the original file and the XDelta file, click the Patch File button and allow it to run. Once the patching is done, you can close out of Delta Patcher. Placing it back into Atmosphere. Select the newly modified game.win file. Navigate back to our Switch's Atmosphere Contents Title ID ROM FS folder and place your modified file from your PC into this folder on your Switch. When prompted to copy and replace, select Yes. This will overwrite your vanilla copy of the game one. Congratulations! You have now installed Undertale Remastered Mod and can now safely eject from your USB transfer and return to the home menu on your Switch. To make sure you've installed it correctly, we are going to want to run Undertale. When the Undertale title card pops up, you will see Remastered Mod on the screen as well. Congratulations! You have installed it correctly and are all set to play. If for some reason you are not seeing the Remastered Mod subtitled, try looking over the steps again. Make sure you've placed the correct game win inside your atmosphere. Verify that you are using the correct files. Try redumping the ROM FS again, and try to slow down and make sure you've followed these steps correctly. If for some reason you are still having issues, feel free to leave a comment below and I will try to respond when I can. Yuzu slash Ryujinx. If you want to install this mod on a Switch emulator for PC or Yuzu Android, you can place the modified game.win file directly into the game's mod folder. For Ryujinx, right-click Undertale and select Open Mods Directory. Make a folder named Remaster, then place the modified ROMFS inside this folder. By default, this is located in C, Users, Name, App Data, Roaming, Ryujinx, Mod, Contents, Undertale Title ID. For Yuzu, right-click Undertale, Click on Open Mods Data Location and place the modified ROMFS content into this folder. By default, it's at C, Users, Username, App Data, Roaming, Yuzu, Load, Title ID. Or on Android, Internal Storage, Android, Data, Org, Yuzu, Yuzu MU, Files, Load, Title ID. Once the mod is placed there, you can run Undertale in your emulator of choice. Alternate NSP methods. If for some reason you want to apply the patch directly to the game's NSP, the process is very similar to how we did it on Atmosphere. To dump the whole NSP, we are going to run NX Dump Tools once again. Select Dump Installed SD EMMC Content, select Undertale, and this time we are selecting Nintendo Submission Package NSP Dump. 
When doing this dump, I suggest remove console specific data to be set to yes, and then select start dump process. Allow this process to finish, and once it's complete, you should see a success. If for some reason your game did not dump correctly, it may be a problem that relates to your CFW or the copy of the game you have. These issues are beyond the scope of this tutorial and relate more to other parts of switch hacking. Once you have successfully dumped your NSP, we can close out of the NX dump tool and open USB file transfer. Navigate to your Nintendo Switch SD Switch NX dump tool NSP folder and copy the dumped game off of your Switch to your PC. We now have two options for patching this NSP directly. One is to apply it to the NSP the other is to apply it to the game using Yanu to patch game win directly. To do this, we will utilize a utility named Yanu. You can find Yanu on its GitHub in the description below. Once Yanu has been downloaded, run the executable and select the Unpack option. Navigate to the copy of your dumped NSP, select it, and select Unpack. You will receive a pop-up once the NSP has been unpacked, and a new folder will be generated in the same folder as your Yanu executable. Inside this folder you will see ROMFS, XFS, and base data. Inside the ROMFS folder you will find your game win. We can now proceed with patching this file with Delta Patcher, which I have covered before in this video. See the timestamp on screen for the patching process, then come back to this section. Once your game win has been patched, we are ready to repack. Go back to the Yanu program and select the Pack option. Select the ROMFS and XFS folders to be the unpacked folder that Yanu created earlier. For title ID, type in the numbers on screen 01008-0B-00-AD-66000. For the control NCA file, I selected the 118 kilobyte file that begins with 7. Then select Pack and allow the program to repack the files. Once it's successful, you'll see the merged NSP inside the Yanu folder. If there are errors or failures, try again, maybe try restarting your PC, or try redumping the NSP. I do also want to give the disclaimer that this method seems to be finicky. While it runs for me in Strato and Skyline, along with Yuzu and Ryujinx, I get errors and failures to launch the game when I try to play it on my official hardware along with warnings when I try to install. My errors may be related to my CFW, but I want to give a disclaimer to anyone attempting the NSP method and trying to run it on official hardware. Emulators seem perfectly fine though. Using Delta Patcher on a full NSP. Once you have copied your full vanilla NSP dump from your Switch to your PC, we are going to want to run Delta Patcher EXE. On the line that says Original File, select the full game NSP you copied from your Switch. On the line that says X Delta Patch, select the Undertale Remastered Mod Switch NSP V1 X Delta File. It should be worth noting this will be applied directly to your copy of the NSP and it will not make a copy or backup of this. If you want to keep a vanilla copy of the NSP, make a backup before running this patch. If you accidentally copied over this one, do not panic. You can always repeat the steps from before to copy your NSP off your Switch again. Once you have selected both the original file and the XDelta file, click the Patch File button and allow it to run. Once the patching is done, you can close out of Delta Patcher. You now have a directly modified NSP copy, usable like you would use other NSPs. Closing thoughts. I do want to note that in my testing, while there were no major visual bugs, there are other improvements that I can make to the mod in different ways. I will be updating this beyond the initial release in the upcoming weeks and months, so be sure to check out the GitHub for more. I would also like to give an honorable mention to the Undertale Orchestral Music mod before I go, which is a mod that pairs incredibly well with this one, and I used it in my long play video of this mod. Installing this is even easier than the remastered mod. You just drag and drop the soundtrack files from the mod into your ROM festival. And with all that, you should be able to play Undertale's remastered mod on the Nintendo Switch and Switch emulators. Being one of my favorite mods for one of my favorite games, 
I'm very happy to have finally had the chance to work with this project and gotten the game working on the go. If this video helped you out, be sure to give it a like and share it with others. Check out my other videos for more Switch modding and emulation content. If you like it enough, maybe consider subscribing. If you have any questions about the mod, feel free to comment them in the comment section below. Take care, enjoy your games, and thanks for watching. Now if you would excuse me, I'm heading off to go fight Sans on Tiny Joy-Cons again.